We are doing a study on the economics of land degradation. Land degradation in the world is quite uh, severe. Between 1981 to 2006, about 25% of the land area in the world was degraded. And that degradation was actually more severe in sub-Saharan Africa, south of the equator. And we found in that area, 13% of the area degraded worldwide was located in uh, sub-Saharan Africa, south of the equator. This study wants to put a price tag to the biophysical uh, metrics that have been used to describe land degradation so that we can tell the world, if you take action against land degradation, these are the benefits in terms of uh, dollars and other benefits that the policymakers understand. If you don't take action, the cost of land degradation in terms of GDP is this much. And that's the language that they can understand, and that's the language which can make them take an action against land degradation. Niger loses about 10% as of now due to uh, overgrazing, uh, salinity, and also uh, soil nutrient depletion. All those, those problems, those alone, they cost the country about 10% of the GDP, which is a quite a big cost. Before 1980s, uh, there was a law which was cut, uh, called the law of the arts. If you don't cut the forest for more than 10 years, the government will own that area. Almost all the trees were cut and the farmers were not having uh, fuel wood, they were not having all the resources that they need from the trees. And the government realized we made a mistake. We need to change that law they pass what they call the rural code. A rural code would give the farmers the, 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 the ownership of the tree. This is an example, a very good example, where a very simple thing was done. Just change a law and give them, the farmers an incentive to own the tree and to benefit from those, those actions. Now, that's a, the government did not put any money into it. It just changed the law and the farmers did what they are supposed to be doing. The world has known about this land, land degradation for a long time, but they have not been taking action because there was no cost attached to the, the land degradation. If the international community impresses on the, the, the governments to take an action in terms of passing laws or building infrastructure and all that, it will help the farmers, it will give them an incentive to take an action against land degradation.